Hi everyone, this is Frank and welcome to my shop. Hey, I, I think everybody uh, uh, goes through the same beliefs that they would like a lot of lighting in their shop. Uh, I've seen a lot of different wood videos out there that um, have all kinds of different types of lighting for their shop. Um, and I think there's a lot of different bulbs that I've seen out there too, from HID to the old T12s, uh, which is the big thicker uh, bulbs. They're probably, I don't know, about a, an inch and a quarter, inch and a half around fluorescent bulbs. Uh, T8s, which seems to be pretty much the common light bulb uh, for energy efficiency um, and, um, and so on. So I think there, I've seen some uh, other spotlights that are used in shops. But I think, at least for me in my shop, I like a lot of light. Um, it just has been that way in my entire life. I like as much light as I can get, um, especially I get it as I get older. Uh, the brighter, the clearer, the more defined I can see fine work, and I'm a fine woodworker. So uh, when I built my shop, um, I put in what I call the drop ceiling lights. They're uh, four foot, they take four foot bulbs and they are uh, made for drop ceilings. So you can put them up inside of drop ceilings. Um, they hang on the uh, framework that you usually put into a drop ceiling. And, uh, and there you have it. Uh, last two shops that I've built, um, uh, this is my last shop. Um, I actually build them within my two foot joists. And so I have a nice finished ceiling. Uh, with the lights. So I have drywall and the lights are exact same level. So I've got a lot of light in here. Um, I put in fluorescent lights uh, initially and over time um, I could tell that the shop is getting a little bit darker. Um, I've had some bulbs that were going out um, and when I cleaned uh, some of the, the uh, diffusers uh, over the summer I could see that I'm starting to get some burnt ends on some of the fluorescents and uh, which means they're about ready to go out. And I also believe as fluorescents, over time, as they get dimmer, uh, they actually use more energy. So I've done a lot of research uh, and been watching LEDs. I love LED lights. LED lights, I've pretty much changed out every light bulb in my home uh, to an LED. Um, it really has, does make an, impa an impact on the, uh, the amount of uh, energy usage you use in a home by using LEDs. But I believe they also give a very clear light. Um, you know, some of the other advantages to LEDs in compared to incandescents, but especially with fluorescence, is when you turn the light on and you have a cool home, uh, fluorescence is gonna take a while to warm up and get brighter. Um, where LEDs come on, Early on, they came on with some hesitation. You turn it on, you could see the light hesitate, and then it would finally initially get bright. Um, uh, now, the new technologies uh, with the LED lights, you turn your power on, they come on instantaneously. So LEDs have come a long way, and they've come a long way in price. I remember uh, the first spotlight I saw, an LED uh, floodlight for outside. Uh, my goodness, they were almost 50, 60 bucks a um, a, a bulb or a spotlight. Um, now I think, oh my gosh, I think I passed them in uh, one of the box stores and uh, they're down to I think around 20 bucks or 18 bucks, somewhere around there. So um, recently in my shop, like I said, I'm, I'm starting to get some of the fluorescents uh, are now dying out. Um, they have a lifespan. I think I've had them in probably for I would say four years, and so now they're starting to dim, they're starting to burn out, and I need to replace them. Uh, but I've watched the market for LED uh, tubes to replace four-foot T8 fluorescents. And uh, they initially came out on the market, they were expensive like anything else, um, but they, you couldn't use them with ballasts. So, as you know, or maybe you don't know, fluorescent lights need a, an energy a device called a ballast. And the ballast actually uh, creates the energy to go and start up the fluorescent bulb and creates that glow. Um, LED lights wouldn't work on them. So that means if you wanted to put LEDs in, you had to go up on a ladder. I had to cut all the ballasts out. I would have to change out all the ends, the electrical ends, to put these bulbs in, and they were very expensive, and it uh, just wasn't worth it. Well, recently, over the last month, I found that they've come out finally with what they call uh, ballast-compatible 
uh, LED lights. And uh, they've come down to a price point that makes sense for me to change out my lights. Um, and I'll kind of go over those numbers uh, here in a moment. Uh, so that's what I'm in the uh, current process of doing. I have th three rows of lights. Uh, I've already uh, changed out two of them, and uh, we're going to go ahead and change out uh, the third row here shortly. So, uh, but I do want to kind of show some comparisons and give you the details on what I decided to go with in my shop for a fluorescent or for to replace my fluorescent lights to go to LED. So uh, let me go ahead and bring the camera over here and I'll kind of show you some of the detail. So as you can see, uh, here is the uh, four foot uh, fluorescent bulb. I'll kind of bring it around here. Um, you know, your typical end, it has the uh, two electrical points on one end and it has one on the same on the other end. Um, this light bulb uh, that I've had in my shop, I put them in all at the same time when I built the shop. And uh, it is a, a 4100K, which is Kelvin. Kelvin is a scale of how bright to dim light is. Um, you could probably, you'll find a lot of different articles on the internet if you just uh, uh, type in a search for Kelvin. <clears throat> and uh, it's a pretty uh, bright, uh, it's a pretty bright light. At the time, 4100K was pretty much the standard that you could find out there. It was hard to find 5000K, so 4100K is what I went with. And um, that's the fluorescent bulb, okay? So this is, uh, again, a, a T8 style. Um, it's roughly about an inch in diameter. Um, this actually uh, draws 32 watts of energy. Um, and they cost around six bucks a piece net. And what I mean by that, you can buy these bulbs for anywhere between four to five dollars. Um, you know, the, the lower the Kelvin, the cheaper they are, the higher the Kelvin, the more expensive they are. And, um, but then you also have a recycling fee you're going to have to pay. Most recyclers charge anywhere between a dollar to two dollars on the bulb, depending upon the location and the company you work with. So, in essence, buying a new fluorescent bulb and turning it in to get um, recycled, uh, because this is a hazardous material. You can't just break this up and throw it into your trash can. That's illegal. So to recycle them, it, it's going to cost you a, a buck or two. So in a, in a, at the end, it's going to cost you about $6 for this bulb. Okay. Now, what I went with and I found that is ballast compatible is a company called Hypercon. And Hypercon makes all kinds of different uh, LED bulbs. Uh, but what I really found is I love their uh, LED um, four foot T8 replacements. And so let me go ahead and open this up. And I'll take it out. Um, I'll, I'll take my camera off the mount here shortly and I'll get a little bit better uh, close up. But uh, if you can see, uh, it has two nubs. They have a protector on every one. So you still have your two nubs and you have them on both sides. Okay, and this is what they call the clear LED T8 light bulb. So uh, this replacement that I'm putting in is a, a 6,000 Kelvin, so it's much brighter, more closer to daylight, and it is a double-ended uh, clear lens. So again, it has two prongs of both ends, just like uh, the T, the fluorescent does. And, but it only draws 18 watts versus the 32 watts from the fluorescent. So um, almost uh, half the energy to run this light bulb. Um, again, like I said, it's ballast compatible. And the price is these are expensive. They're, uh, they come down drastically. Uh, but they, uh, if you get a, a large pack, I think they come in a 24 pack. It's about uh, $9.90 a bulb. Okay. Uh, you can find them on uh, Amazon is where you can find them. Um, I think there's other stores that sell them as well. But there's nothing in the box stores that I could find that has these type of, of light bulbs. So you can say, wow, you know, $9.90 a piece, that's, uh, that's 40 bucks for a 4-watt 
um, or sorry, for a four bulb light like I have. Um, and it is, that's expensive. Um, but if you take a look at the return on the investment, okay, you're figuring um, you're going to be replacing these bulb, your fluorescent bulbs, probably depending upon how long you use them. I'm not in my shop full time. Uh, you're probably going to be replacing your bulbs every two to three years. If you're not doing that because they're burning out, you're going to be doing it because it's getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and it's, you're not getting as much light. And when you're doing woodworking and uh, as they say, you, you, a project is 50% woodworking and 50% finishing, you're going to start to see your finishes are going to really be different. Um, your finishes are going to look yellower. Um, they're not going to look as bright. Uh, you're not going to see as much clarity and it could really throw off some coloring if you're trying to uh, tone or color something a pro for a project for your customer or uh, like I do or if you uh, want to do something for yourself and you try to get it to match uh, lighting is critical uh, when you go into finishing so uh, if you replace that fluorescent bulb um, twice you're, you're already at uh, um, $12 okay so uh, one time replacement, $9.90 for the uh, Hypercon or any kind of LED, uh, that's it. They don't get dim, they don't yellow, uh, they're a much brighter and cleaner light. And um, uh, I won't have to replace these for years. I think it's 20, I didn't see it on the box, I'll, I'll have to take a look, but I think it's 25,000 hours um, before they would actually go out. So what a replacement so um, let me go ahead and take the camera off the mount and we'll kind of get a little bit closer shot of this light bulb and then i'll see if we can see the light difference in the shop um, i've got the two uh, banks of leds lit up right now and then i'll turn on the fluorescence and uh, walk around the shop a little bit and see if you can see the difference okay again here's the uh, this is the box that it came in, comes in and again, here's the Hypercon. And you've got a data, kind of a data plate on the side here. There we go. The voltage is 100 to 277. Frequency is about eh, 50 to 60 hertz. So, and the clear cover. Okay. So, let's take a look at the lights. So, you can, yeah, I see my camera's going to dim down a little bit because it gets bright. Uh, but you can see what I meant um, that I actually did a flush mount with these uh, drop ceiling uh, lights so it's flush with the, the ceiling. Okay. And then here, those are the ones that still have the fluorescent light bulbs in. So let me go ahead and uh, move over. I'll turn that bank of lights on and see if you can see a difference. Well, you can really see a difference in the lighting in the shop. Okay, fluorescence is going to go on. I could definitely, from live, <laughs> I could definitely see the difference, but I'm going to really show you the difference here. Look at the difference in that wall. Look at how it's so yellow over here and this is actually the true color because if you uh, when it's a sunny and it's a daylight this is basically what the shop looks like when the shop's full of light big big difference again i'm not sure how well the camera's catching the lights themselves but these definitely have a yellow cast but like i said the best way you could see it is on that wall So, um, you know, I just wanted to do a short video to kind of talk about the light differences. I'm excited about getting this other 
uh, row of lights changed out to the uh, LED lights. Um, again, it, it, you may be able to afford it, you may not be able to afford that. It all depends on your shop, your income, your expenses, uh, what your lighting currently is now, and what you would like it to look like. But I will tell you, um, by far, uh, this will definitely be, at least for me, uh, it's a, a probably about a three to four year return on the investment. And for me, being able to get these lights up, um, put, get a clear, more um, a more real look of what the staining and colors that I'm doing, uh, a more realistic look uh, compared to um, seeing the yellowing from the fluorescent lights it is well worth the money for me. Uh, that it makes sure that uh, my finishing for my clients um, uh, is spot on what they're expecting. So. Anyway, um, I hope this was some sort of a help for you on your lighting. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, uh, go down to the bottom of this video. I've got my email address. Uh, you can email me with any kind of questions or on the video. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. First time you've been on uh, my channel and you've seen one of my videos, uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you like to uh, be notified of other videos uh, pertaining to shop and woodworking. Thanks a lot, uh, my friends, for uh, listening to my video. Well, guys, this is Frank at Frank's Wood Design, and I know we'll see you another time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.